Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Christine and Light. My name is Shara. Thanks for being here, guys. This is gonna be for Libra November. I'm sorry I'm a little bit late. That's why I'm filming at night. I usually don't film at night. Plus, if you see my little crow here, it's my microphone. I've been having issues with my um, audio. I don't know why. So I whipped out the old uh, microphone. It works though. So that's all we need to know. Even though it looks weird on my sh on my necklace like that. But anyway, so Libras, how are you guys doing? Great, I'm sure Venus is in your sign, comf comforting you, nurturing you, giving you mm, that warm, tingly feeling in your heart chakra, butterflies for some of you. Some of you are doing great in your relationship. Some of you are meeting a new romantic partner or rekindling a relationship. We do have Scorpio and Mercury in your second house. Ooh, it could be business. You guys are going on business ventures with someone you love, maybe family or your spouse or partner. Uh, doing some research. Uh, so you're definitely going for your dreams, maybe. Some of you um, are artists. Some of you deal with um, you know, the psyche. Some of you are looking into maybe astrology now. Maybe you want to be tarot readers, who knows, um, or psychiatrists or stuff like that, you know, dealing with people. Some of you started investing in stocks. That's going to pay off right now. Venus is in your sign. Venus is very positive energy. Venus is home. <laughs> She's home. So take advantage of that energy, guys, that warmth, that nurturing, that love. Then we have, uh, what else do we have? In your seventh house of, I mean, sorry, in your seventh house of Taurus, we just had that full moon. Uranus is there retrograde as well. Uranus will be going direct by the time we hit December. So that full moon, you know, in your seventh house, again, relationships, guys, combinations, new beginnings, endings. But for you, I feel more new beginnings in love, new partnerships, new, just like being out there, like, ooh, feeling yourself, you know, the love. Wanting to give the love, therefore receiving the love. Coming from a place of like really purity. Okay. And in your sixth house, we have um, Mars retrograde. So I feel like um, you're reaching out to people you haven't heard from in a while. Just feeling lovely. You're just feeling the love. You want to share the love. You know, you're, you're like really a pillar right now for people that feel down and like, ooh, all in their feelings and stuff and you love it and i think you can handle it too well you always do that you know guys are always there for people you always like weigh the pros and cons you like things to be equal and balanced and fair and i feel like you're doing a lot of that you're doing a lot of humanitarian kind of energy very like um noble energy libras okay then in your uh fourth house of one uh, your third house of capricorn you have no it's your fourth house one two yeah your fourth house of capricorn you have jupiter pluto and saturn so yeah again inviting people over just helping them recover from whatever trauma they're going through libras are acting like cancers right now and virgos which is great because you guys are air signs you kind of do it in an aloof way because it's automatic thing for you guys the fairness kind of you guys are represented by justice you know and um, but i feel like you're putting love into it now you're really acting like a cancer you might be dealing with cancers around you maternal some of you maybe had just had a baby and you just had a baby and it just gave you all that tingly love feeling yeah okay let's get into it halloween deck by stacy demarco Lots of love, the Libra. Did I say Leo? Libra. Yeah, some of you definitely just had a child or found out you were pregnant after a long time. Maybe it was an unexpected, but it just like suddenly sparked something in you. You didn't expect it, but you're so glad it happened, you know? And some of you really were waiting for it to happen. Um, maybe your child had a child. Maybe becoming grandpa grandfathers and grandmothers. Maybe your children are getting married. There's something very lovely around family, just relationships, a coming together. You know, I'm seeing that four of wands energy. All right, let's see. This is the Halloween Oracle. Let's see what we have for Libra, please, Spirit, November. Oh, abundance, the pomegranate. Yeah, that could be birth too. Let's see what it says. 
Halloween deck. Yeah, it's not Halloween, but I love this deck and it's still autumn and it's really, I'm going to use it <laughs> for all of November. That's it. Okay. The underworld where all things pause and begin again. Palm granite is abundance though too. It's passion. It's abundance. It's growth. Um, so that's a Scorpio energy. Second house for you guys. Mercury there. Like I said, something is growing here. Something you not, you haven't felt this way in a long time, Libra. And, oh, you're loving it. And you're going to like really, you're going to ride this until it lasts and make the best of it. And so you should. So you should. Like I said, for some of you, it's a business venture. It's just uh, something that's very close to your heart. And you're going for it. You're all in all in because it's fresh it's new it's exciting it's lovely it's passionate it's, it ignites you it tingle like i said butterflies tingles in the heart chakra very very i love this energy love it it's very like energizing okay well okay libras because you guys tend to be like you know, equal, even, not so like, wah, you don't go crazy because it's like, it's like you don't go, everybody does don't go, you know, we're not always balanced. Life is not balanced. There's dark, there's light. But right now here, you're, something is peaking. There's a peak here. It's a peak of excitement, a peak of joy. There you go. Joy, Libra. There's joy. There's joy around you, in you, around you. It's just joyful times, which is perfect for the holiday season, right? This is the good tarot. I only have major arcana. Let's see what comes out. Spirit, what do you have for Libra, please? Joy to the world. I don't know where that came from. What does it say? Where all things pause and begin again. Renewal, birth. All right, Spirit, what else? For Libra from the Good Tarot, Colette Van Reed. This is Stacy DeMarco, the Halloween deck. Libra Spirit. I actually like doing my readings at night. I'm not going to lie. Ooh, did not. It's a completion, a new chapter, Libra. Some of you might be moving. If that's at all possible right now, because it's not a small move. This is not moving uh, neighborhoods. This is moving completely different, like uh, country, continent. If it's at all it's possible right now, or somebody's moving close to you. The world. This is a new chapter, new cycle. This is a uh, fixed energy, right? So something that's meant to last, something that's coming in that's faded that's gonna get, bring you um it's gonna change your your world basically something big it's huge it's huge it was a long time coming too huh, no wonder you're so excited it's amazing energy you guys three expansion boom boom fireworks I think I'm gonna call this fireworks. This, 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 this. Wow, fireworks, Libra. Fireworks. A long distance relationship finally asking you to settle, to commit, and you guys moving together. Wow. A baby. Bring a baby, a child into this world. Finally getting recognition for something you worked so hard for. Something you worked very hard for. It's coming to completion and you're about to be, I mean, ecstatic, Ex not happy, Ex over the moon. Okay. You have the world, you have the moon, the world, the moon, and that could be the sun. Completion, completion, completion. Let's clarify with the Los Carabao. I usually, <laughs> when they're so good like this, these cards, I don't want to clarify, but they're going to be all good because, I mean, they're all majors, right? Well, unless you get like death card or something. But anyway, I'm still going to clarify because that's what I'm doing this month. <laughs> Los Carabao mini tarot deck. Look at this. Three of uh, swords in the reverse. It's done. Whatever you were worried about that broke your heart, that was like painful, 
ugh, just sad. It's over. It's over. Fireworks. Okay. Hard times are over. Victory. Fireworks. I'm just getting one card. This is too good. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Cups. That Venusian energy. All this Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is like ugh, nurturing, caring, compassionate, loving, beautiful. In touch with her emotions. Just love. Heart chakra. Purity, love. Mother energy, nurturing, compassionate. What else can I say? I don't know. Oh, somebody loves you. Somebody loves you, Libra. Man or female. Male or female. It doesn't matter. Somebody loves you. Fireworks. <laughs> this is fireworks. Victory, success, head above shoulder. Recognition. I told you guys, you've been working for this. for You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. It's like, what are you bugging? Why are you repeating the same thing over and over again? I'm sorry. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for you. See, I keep repeating things in, in, in circles and twice. I feel like you're not going to believe it. You're going to be like, oh my God, no. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. You're going to be like, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I'm dreaming. It's not real. I can't believe it. It's real. It's real. These are the astro cards. We have planets, um, sign, and what am I missing? Houses. Let's see. What's the major turn, turning point kind of energy here? Oh, I have to get a Queen of the Moon Oracle first. Stacy the Marco, same as the Halloween deck. There's growth, expansion. You have a six and a three. Balance, which is all about you. Money. Fairness. It's what you deserve. Whatever this is. Court case, some of you. I don't know. Settlement. But it's love, though. It can't be. That's a divorce, right? Mm -hmm. No. Basically, it's your karma. It's what you deserve. Okay? What you deserve. You deserve these fireworks here. You definitely do. That is for sure. Okay. Let's wait for Libra, please, Spirit. Queen, there are too many cards. For pleasure. I'm just going to read. When they do that, I read it, but then I shuffle again. Woo! Oh my, a new beginning. The void, abundance, pleasure. The void, the new beginning, that world called the completion. It's a one. Being able to make whatever you want your life to look like from now on, the world. You can make it victorious. You can make shit happen right now, Libra. And it could be full of abundance because I think that's what everybody wants, right? And pleasure lovely it's just lovely okay let's see what what we have for libra now Spirit. assessing yeah you're gonna be like oh my god is this real don't think about it too much you've completed this cycle don't like it it makes me think because it's a nine and it says assessing. It makes me think of that Nine of Swords energy. Doubting it, you know. Don't bring that energy into this new cycle, Libra. Don't assess. Do not assess. Okay, I'm going to turn it around. I don't want it. Don't assess. Enjoy. Enjoy this. Do not assess it. Putting it back. Don't assess it. We tend to do that, okay? We manifest stuff. When good things happen to us, we question it and we, we like, ugh, we don't want it. That what it seems, that's what it seems like to spirit. Because we're assessing it, we're questioning it, we're saying, oh, we're not worthy of it. That's crazy. 
Mm. That's not good. Don't offend spirit. <laughs> okay? Don't assess. Accept. Rejoice. And be grateful. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. You are appreciated. So appreciate yourself. Give gratitude and thanks and appreciate what you deserve. Okay? Let's see what we get for you. November, please hear it. Libra. Libra. Ooh. We got a zodiac. Here we have the fixed sign, so a Taurus, the world card, right? There are the fixed signs in it. So we have Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, and uh, what's the other one? Virgo. Is it? No. Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio are the, uh, the fixed signs, okay? And then here we have Cancer. Didn't I say you guys are acting like Cancers? You're just like so full of love. And remember I had that Queen of Cups in the bottom of the deck? You guys are just so like motherly nurtured. You're fixing a lot of people's problems. You're nurturing people. You're, some of you might be taking care of homeless people. Some of you might, you're very into giving right now. You, well, you always are. But I mean, you know what I mean? You're like, um, maybe you're hosting a Thanksgiving party at home this time around. You're like, no, I'll do it. I want to do it. You're having like a good part, big party. Maybe you're doing it in your building. You're inviting everybody over, you know, <clears throat> in your neighborhood. You're passing out like, I don't know, spice cakes, pumpkin spice cakes, you know. I didn't say space cakes. I said spice cakes. And, um, and stuff like that. You're giving like um, gifts to people in the neighborhood to cheer them up. You're just giving the love, Libra. You're giving the love. It says... This energy is emotional, sensitive, caring, and loving. It may concern family, a mother, or a child. Some of you, this, um, sorry, this new chapter is a baby. Finally, that baby you wanted. Look at that car, it's beautiful. Finally, finally, we're pregnant. I love it. Ooh, such mm, my heart. Ooh, warm energy. My nose is itching. Cancer. It's cancer for you. Maybe you're dealing with a cancer, your, your spouse. I feel like this is all your energy, though. What's cancer for you? Cancer is your... So, Aries is your seventh. Eight, nine, ten house. Yep. Moving, like I said, some of you are moving. Cancer's your 10th house. Some of you are really moving or somebody is finally joined, like coming to you. you. You're getting that engagement. You guys are having that baby, whatever. Definitely, there's positive energy of love in you, around you, and coming to you. Let's just make it that. Let's just, let's, let's just say that, okay? Positive energy coming from you around you and coming back to you ultimate joy Th that's the energy of source the energy of source two cards two cards i think like one but let's see see oh my i just got shivers Emotional healing and forgiveness. You are, you're a healer in these times here right now. I mean, you med, you mitigate, litigate. You're in, lit, you know, you're in litigation. It's not literally. You might, you guys might be doing that, but you're, you're like so giving right now. Um, you're definitely mending, helping people mend. You're like make helping people make up. You're helping people mend their hearts. You are definitely an earth angel right now, Libra, more than ever. You heal people just with a smile, just a gesture. You're so giving right now. 
I'm not saying you're not usually, but it's like times a hundred right now because Venus is in your sign. She's like, whoo, here, here, here. That cancer shit, you know, which cancer does all the time and gets in trouble for it. But you guys, you can do it. It's always good to get into that cancer and energy. The problem with cancer is cancer is always like that. You can't do too much of too much. You can't do too much of something, you know? Who are you talking to? I'm a cancer son. I stopped though. <laughs> I have a coda now. I'm not going to give you all my blood because then I'm going to faint. I can't give you all my blood. <laughs> that was the cancer reading. It was so funny. I kept getting that download of blood bank. How cancer can give her whole blood or his whole blood until he faints. And then I have to like go get blood from somewhere else. That's crazy. How about you gift yourself first, right? <laughs> but right now you guys are definitely sensitive, loving, giving, caring, compassionate. More than you usually are. Okay. These are the door to spirits. Let's see what we have for advice. Final advice for Libra. Beautiful reading. Beautiful. Empress energy. Definitely Empress energy. Right? You're more into your, emp like, because the Empress could be Taurus or Libra because it does, it is Venus, you know? Right now, I, if I had to choose a tarot card that represents you, it would not be the Justice card, but the Empress card. Okay? All right. Let's see. What do we have for Libra, please? Final advice for Libra. This one. Beautiful. Look at that sun. Draw down the moon. Again, emotional energy. The forest nymphs dance in sheer delight, singing soft songs. Find us in the wild. Good night. I love it. The forest nymphs dance in sheer delight, singing soft songs. Find us, find us in the wild. Good night. See, didn't I say that you're you're nurturing? You're so nurturing right now in that Cancerian Empress energy. That's the that's so crazy. That's all over this reading, guys. Fireworks. I don't know what I'm gonna call this reading. Fireworks or. I don't know. I don't know. We just love. We just call it love. Or the love you deserve. I don't know. I love you guys. That I know. <clears throat> don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Okay? It helps my channel grow amazingly. And I really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, send me that love, Libras. Send me that love. I want some of that love. Mwah. Bye.